forget at Cleo's Palace Saturday nights. Open mic poetry sessions, 444 Atlantic Avenue between Nevins and Bond Street, downtown Brooklyn. For more information, call 718-643-6800. That's 718-643-6800. Or email us at cleopalace at gmail.com. That's Cleo's Palace at gmail.com. Cleo's Palace, open mic, poetry night. Come on down, express yourself, or listen to some great, great poets. That's Cleo's Palace. For more information, once again, 718-643-6800 or cleopalace at gmail.com. All poets and artists are welcome. And then now you turn Dear Father, why? You promised you would never turn your back on my marriage. You promised me love, you promised me commitment, you promised me through your word that you would see this union through. So why am I still standing here? Broken hearted. It took a while for me to move on. But it's hard for me to move on with my heart still being there. And I'm still having countless nights or dreams of me seeing you saying yes I do in front of the new Eurekan. Because that's where I propose to you. It's been many nights I did not want to come home. Tired of the fussing and fighting. It wasn't right. And I don't blame you fully. I blame myself for the way I treated you. You could have been a bigger woman for the way you treated me. But being separated from this marriage for almost 10 months. I found out one primary truth. And that is just totally. I miss you. I miss you. I miss the butterflies you brought in my life, I mean. I miss the times you were so close at night, I could reach over and hold you in my arms because it felt so damn good to call you my wife, I mean, I miss you. And I hope you're doing well right now because this pain in my heart can't tell you physically how I feel right now. So I thank God for all the lessons that I learned in my life because for a while it was hard for me to call you my wife. It's been almost 10 months and I don't know we will ever be together again. Half of me knows I lost my best friend. I have no completion. My completion is me going back to the house with a police escort to pick up my stuff, face dreaded with hurt. I miss you. Saw the hurt etched on your face and mine as I woke up in the morning and began to look at my hue. Saw reflections of me and you and my heart started to pulsate like a fiend being withdrawn from his next hit. This marriage was my hit. Too bad it was codenamed infidelity. I'm still hurting. Reliving the memory of the night you tossed your wedding ring out the window from the 13th floor. 13 stories. I experienced 13 dimensions of hurt, which is the time blind side of my ambition to continue with this marriage. I'm still hurting. Lost contact with my father due to the rent situation. I had to be evicted from a place that's been my family for the last 22 years. We didn't respect each other. Oftentimes, verbal and physical abuse dictated this marriage, and it hurts. Last time I saw you, I had my hands stuffed in handcuffs. I'm not there, two cops together my stuff. I didn't know what to do. As you stood in the corner telling me that I love you, leaving out a place that's been my family for the last 22 years with two garbage bags. I had to walk across the park a lot. I had to stop because my soul was literally drenched out of my face. I had to tell myself that I could move on. But it's hard. I still dream about you frequently. As I'm writing this poem, I dreamed about you the night before and I said to myself that I can't take this no more. So I took time to pick up my pen to describe how I feel about you. This is my therapy. I am speaking about this hole in my heart code name, no completion. Please understand this is my manifestation how I feel about you and I want you to know I miss you. I'm still hurting. I never knew love like this before. It was hard for me to look my two daughters in the face and explain to them the reason why y'all not here anymore. And it's sad to see two souls wandering aimlessly. But if it's meant, the Creator will aim it right back to me. Mm. And he has. And we fell. Got back together, but fell. So I asked you, Father, why did I get married? Mm. And he said, you should have walked in my walk. Mm. Take heed to my word. And next time, I have to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget at Cleo's Palace Saturday nights. Open mic poetry sessions. 444 Atlantic Avenue between Nevins and Bond Street, downtown Brooklyn. For more information, call 718 643 6800. That's 718 643 6800. Or email us at cleopalace at gmail.com. That's cleopalace at gmail.com. Cleo's Palace, open mic, poetry night. Come on down, express yourself, or listen to some great, great poets. That's Cleo's Palace. For more information, once again, 718-643-6800 or cleopalace at gmail.com. All poets 
and artists are welcome.